Welcome everybody to another episode of Rewind the Times and No Leftovers. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's been a long time since we've, been, we've done a video. Colston is finally out of school, going to the next grade. I've been um, out of school since last Wednesday. Since last Wednesday, but I only but I only get Colston, you know, you guys know, um, every other weekend. But because Colston's out of school, now I get him every other week. So we're gonna put the pump into out. the weekend. Yes. Yeah, so we're so gonna, weekend into the week. Yeah, and then Friday I have to go. Yeah, a whole week right here, baby. So I'll be able to be able to have him for a whole week. So I want to watch a, a lot of movies, do a lot of reviews. And then last night, me and Colston, man, we watched a lot of movies last night, huh, buddy? So today, we're going to have about two, we're going to do two to three videos today. Because um, YouTube is only allowed to let us uh, do three videos a day. And one of the video, and one of the movies that we're going to do, we don't have, but we can still talk about them. Yeah. Because the movie that we don't have is such a good movie. Yes, it is. So the first movie we're going to talk about, but before we do that, Colston, get on up. Show us that new shirt that you got from Fright Rags. All right, boys. This is Hellraiser 2 Hellbound. Look at this shirt, man. This shirt is awesome. It came out. Uh, this was a pre-order, and it finally came in last week, and I'm waiting for, for Colston to come in so you can see it. So there you go, guys. All right, Colston, next to me. Colston's got a lot of new shirts to watch, so watch these videos because he's got a lot of new shirts. I don't know, I don't know, we'll, we'll show that one, yes. Okay, so the first movie we're going to talk about today is Brad Pitt's very first movie. It's a slasher, because you know it's all about horror right here. Cutting Class. Cutting Class is actually kind of a weird movie, huh? We all thought, I thought it was <coughs> going to be a uh, Brad. Yeah, it was a... <clears throat> I thought it was going to be Brad. So the movie, the movie, it is a slasher. It's Brad Pitt's very, very, very first right. ever... Uh, movie ever. Yes, we finally did this video because we keep talking yes, about it. Yes, we kept talking about it. We kept talking about it and we, we finally did it. But basically what the movie's about, it's, it's kind of a corn cornballish slasher movie. It's about this guy, I can't remember his name, but he was in the mental hospital. Do you remember his name? Okay, so he was in the, he was in the hospital for a while and he's a, he was a student and he came back from the hospital and he enrolled back into high school and everybody kind of knows his reputation and one by one these people that were picking on him start dying and it kind of has a kind of has like a little bit like a, reminds me a little bit of scream and the reason I say that is because anyone that's ever seen scream Billy Loomis is, is pretty much he's caught in the beginning of the movie but, but, but it seems so obvious that it can never be Billy but it ends up being Billy well in this movie it was Billy? It, yeah it was Billy and scream yeah and in this movie they, they make it so much that this killer is the kid that came back that you think it's not. But guess what? It's him. Yes. It really is him. So, it's a good movie. Um, it's a little cornballish, like I said. I mean, we love all slashes. A uh, few good horror, a few good killing scenes. Yeah, there's a few good killing scenes. There was the killing, there was the, 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 the art teacher that, that got thrown in the furnace. Um, um, the um, Mrs. whatever her name is, the, the principal, when she got like. She he was shoving her face on like this printing machine that makes pictures. Oh you know, yes. Her, yeah. Yep, that was one killing scene. The father of Brad Pitt's girlfriend in the beginning of the movie he got shot with a bow and arrow, and he was trying to come back. Hit, dude, his story in the movie is kind of weird. And the thing that was stupid is that there was one part that he was literally sitting down eating a cookie, and then like, and then it went back to the movie, and then. I went back to him, and he's like crawling on the floor, acting like he got hurt or something. Yeah, it was a, it was really really good. So he went, so basically, he, in the beginning of the movie, the girl, Brad Pitt's girlfriend, the main, the main two characters are Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt's girlfriend. I can't think of her name. I'm so sorry, but is it not her father plays no, no, and maybe it is Alyssa. I'm not sure. Her father, um, her father plays Leon in Roseanne the talk show. Um, he's the guy with the glasses on with the beard. You got he's in '80s. Icon, you see him in so many TV shows. Well, anyways, he is her father. He gets he gets shot with an arrow in like the first two three minutes of this movie because he was going on a vacation. He's enjoying himself, and his arc in the movie is so weird because he got shot but didn't die. Then there was someone stepped on him when they were walking. Then he was talking to a dog, um, and then finally at the end. He was just crawling on the floor, yeah, like he, he was got hurt. Crawl, well, not the floor, he was crawling on a, in a pond. And then finally, at the end of the movie, he sees his daughter and he's like, Honey, what are you doing? No! No, because he was on the road. No. 
he climbed up this hill and he fell down yes, a hill. Yes, yes. But well, that's what I'm trying to say. It was weird because he finally, like, he's trying to get back to his house. The whole and the time. thing that was stupid, you see how he was crawling in the pit? Yeah. He got right back on the mountain. He was standing straight and he fell down. Yeah, no, it was, it, it, dude, it was so weird. But he rolled down the hill and his daughter and Brad Pitt and he come got by. Right back up. Yeah, and then she's like, honey, what are you doing? Are you cutting class? And they got how the movie ended. It was just really, really weird. But the killer ended. And no, and I think the girl was like, yeah, it, yeah, it was just, it was a really cornballish movie. I'm glad we watched it, but I spent a lot of money on this movie, and everybody says, like, this is supposed to be, like, a classic, a cult classic. I get why people said it was a good movie, but, like, it was insane, because we, well, I, I, it, I didn't care we were surprised, I was actually surprised it was Billy. Oh, no. Uh, no, no yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever that guy's, yeah, I mean, the, ki the killer is who you thought it was going to be, because they, they kind of, like, because he, he's the kid that came out, kid that came out of the mental hospital, they pretty much... Everyone's thinking it's him, and then you keep thinking, there's no way it's going to be him, because they're making it seem too much like it's him, and then it, then it ends up being him. Um, who I thought it was, was the janitor. I thought it was going to be the janitor. I, I thought it was going to be uh, Brad, Dad. I, what, oh, Brad, Brad, Pitt's, Brad, yeah. Brad Pitt's father, yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah no, not movie. him. Just Brad. Oh, why did Brad, really? Brad Pitt? I didn't think it was going to be Brad Pitt. I, I thought it was going to be the janitor, but I mean, I mean you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. That's the whole point. Um, just a really, really weird movie. Um, glad we've seen it, but people go crazy for this movie, and I, I don't know why. Um, I'm glad I have it. I'm gonna add it to my collection of horror movies, so I'm glad we got hey, it. Hey, yeah. it, it might be a bad movie, but it's still to our collection. Yeah, it's still to our collection. Okay, so. And we, we don't really care if it's a bad movie. At least we oh, put yeah, it on the yep, YouTube channel yes, just for yes, you guys. Yep. And no matter what, we're gonna watch it, even if it's bad anyway. That's just like Urban Legends, the Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. We're eventually gonna have to watch that. I know. I'm dreading that one. Okay, so Colston, my two questions I always ask. First of all, if this was in the killer was in NECA figure, would you want him? I, I, to be honest, I don't know, cause it didn't even show the killer in the yeah, movie. Well, well, it's the kid. It's that kid. It's the kid. It's the kid who they remember. Yeah. I know, but did he even have a costume on? No, he had no costume. He wore a tuxedo and Nikes. So no, I don't want his costume. No, he wore bowling shoes. Bowling shoes. Oh my, that's right. Good eye, Colston. That's right. He wore bowling shoes and a tuxedo. He didn't wear a cops. No, no. No. So will I want this naked figure? No. no. <laughs> it's the stupidest no. thing. No. And what do you rank this movie one out of ten? A five or a six. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm I'm gonna have to go live alone. I'm gonna have to say a four. <laughs> this movie was not that good. It just wasn't good. <laughs> I just did it. It's just a weird movie. <laughs> it was just a really weird Mike, cut in class. It's weird. Well, than... I don't want to cut this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was weirder than Valentine. Yeah, you know, no, I actually like Valentine. Valentine had some cool kill scenes. This movie had like three Especially or four. When, that, really when the killer um like locked that girl in the tub. Oh yeah. That well, was... well that was a, yeah, that was actually really all right, guys. So that that's our review of Cutting Class. Um, I mean, if you want to see a slasher, I wouldn't. I mean, it's. I mean, it's way. I mean, this is a movie that I would, I would not watch again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No. I'm not interested in watching it again. Do I, am, am I glad I owned it? Yes. Um, I, I'm. Hey, I, it's hey, it was, it was still something interesting. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm, I like. It. It's, I'm. I paid like forty dollars for this movie because I the hype about it. Just for it, a movie that's yeah, that but, makes no well, sense. Well, the hype about it was supposed to be so big. And I'm glad I got it, but I, it's just, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I got it, because I am going to add it to my collection, but it's something that I definitely, I don't, I, I'm not going to watch this again. Uh, there's no way. I just, but I'm glad I have it. I'm glad I have it, so. All right, guys. So we'll be coming back with a, a new video for you guys. So like I wanted to say, man, God bless. Man, remember, God first and family. You know, God first and family. And what do we say, Colson? Deuces, deuces. But make sure you subscribe and hit that follow button. And hit that like button. And everybody, everybody, we're up to seven subscribers. We really appreciate it, guys. I'm sorry the video is not coming out as fast as possible. It's only because Colson was out of school, but now he's here. So, all right, man. Everybody, everybody, we have to do videos. Yes, a lot. Yeah, man. No, I can't wait to do a lot of good videos, man. All right, man. So everybody, you have a good night, and until the next video. Juices, juices. Take care, guys. I make good juices.